take you over, you just can't breathe. Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? What's up guys, Sarah Bedroom here for another video. As usual, I'm here with my good friend Ty. Lately on my channel, we have switched gears and we are now talking about the clothes guard. Specifically, clothes guard bottom and even more specifically, how we can utilize a two-on-one grip on the arm to form a system and start to develop a sequence of attacks that we do. It's my favorite way to attack from the closed guard because it leads me into my open guard game. It's good when I can't, uh, basically if I'm smaller than the guy, it can help me compensate for the lack of size. So it's just my favorite way to attack from the closed guard. I'll stop rambling. Today we're gonna be looking at a flower sweep, an arm bar, and then a bunch of other submissions that you can do. Let's check it out. <laughs> so, in my last video, I talked about attaining the close guard, right? Breaking the grips. I even talked about how we break the grips. We use our body, right? We sit up into our opponent. We pull as we come back to the mat. We flick his hand, and that this is the hard part. Attaining this grip is the hard part. So what is my grip? Assuming I have this sleeve grip and I broke his grip, I push his hand inside as I twist the grip just a little bit more, okay? Keep my elbow nice and tight. And now my left hand grabs the seam on his armpit. Let's turn. So look, I grab right here. That's my control. Then I talked about how we drag. We're gonna be using a couple of different mechanisms of off balance. I'm gonna draw my knees to my chest as I bring myself to him and drag his arm across like so. Okay? What holds his arm across my body is not only my right hand. More importantly, it's the connection between my chest and his shoulder. Immediately after I drag, I take my left hand and I hug as tight as I can on his lap and I keep my chest glued to his chest. Okay, something that I mentioned in the last video that's going to be very important for today's techniques, let's start, is going to be my body. Traditional arm drag. When we drag the arm across, we move our hips out. And what this does is it places my hip directly on my opponent's knee, like so. Okay, do you see my hip, guys? You see how it's on his knee? I want to keep my hip in between his legs because high level, if you mess up, they're going to capitalize. And so I'm not sure what I'm going to get off of this arm drag initially. So I'm here like this. I have my control. This is the hardest part. I drag and I'm here. Do you notice how my hip is still in between his knees? Right? This is what I want because when my hip is in between his knees, it allows me to connect other attacks. And one of the most common reactions I get when I'm here is my opponent understands that his back is in danger. So he drives his shoulder to the mat, like this, right? He puts his shoulder on me. So this opens up the opportunity for a flower sweep. At this point, I'm gonna to start to attack. So let's change the angle. So we're here, I drag the shoulder, or the elbow across, right? I sat up and he pushes me back down, just like this. So guys, I'm hugging his lap very tight and I still have his arm across my body. My first attack that I always go for is I put my left foot on the hip. If you have dexterity issues and you're not able to do that, you can put it on the mat but keep your knee pinched tight. Now my right hand is going to look to underhook his leg. I don't need to get a deep underhook yet. Even if I could just grab the pants, that's fine. Right? Now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my left foot to push my opponent back down as I create a perpendicular 90 degree angle with him. I pull him and use my foot, like this. All right, so again, I'm here, like this. Now, me personally, I like to underhook at this point because I'm gonna pull his leg up to me. I'll even grab his other leg for support. So this foot is still on his hip, this leg is tight, and I'm here. So guys, I'm in a very good flower sweep position. So the way that I do the flower sweep or the pendulum sweep is I'm gonna pull my knees to the mat on this side to bring his butt farther off of the mat. The off-bouncing mechanism is that I need to get his butt off the mat, so I do this. You guys see? I draw this knee and this knee to the mat, and I pull everything, like this. Now guys, it's very simple. I'm just going to leg press. I'm going to extend my right leg as I sit up. It has to be right at the same time. We're working in conjunction here. So I leg press and sit up, and I get them out. Guys, one of the biggest mistakes that I see with this sweep is because people drag and move their hip initially like this, now my hip is on one of his knees. 
So when they go to do the sweep, they end up in a very inverted position like this because my hip needs to be in between Ty's legs. It cannot be on the outside. If my hip goes to the outside of his legs, this is what happens. And now you're in this super inverted position where all of his weight is on your hamstring and you're almost doing like a tornado sweep. If you have the dexterity and the flexibility, sure, you can still sweep him, but it's much more difficult and it's much more strenuous on your back because your, your body mechanics are off. And all this happens because, let's turn. Can we turn? All this happens because look where my hip is, guys. My hip is way outside his leg. So now I have to do so much work to get him over, right? So guys, we can prevent all of this in the beginning with good hip placement. So look, I drag, I got my two on one. I drag as I sit up and hug. My hip stays here. I underhook and get his leg. My left foot goes to his hip. I push him down initially as I pull myself to that 90 degree perpendicular angle like I'm doing an arm bar, like this. Now my hip is perfect. Now look, I draw my knees down, and now I extend, and we sit up. So guys, one more time, regular time here. I sit up, I break the grip, I flick it, I come here, he drives in, I underhook, put to the hip, push. Guys, see how I scoop myself up? See how my head placement is? Now look, I pull him over, and now I'm here, guys. Now it's easy and we get them out. So guys, that's the pendulum flower sweep. Off of the pendulum and flower sweep, I'm just gonna talk about this briefly. We have the opportunity to do a lot of submissions. Typically, I will personally, depending on the person's level, sweep them if I can, right? I'm not gonna slow down my attack to look for something else, even if it is a submission, because once I get to the mount, I'm confident I can continue doing my submission. But, if I'm just rolling with blue, purple, brown, even some recreational black belts in the gym and I see the arm bar, I might take it. So here's how we do the arm bar. Let's start. So everything stays the same, right? All of this happened because I sat up, I dragged my opponent's arm. He was scared of me taking his back, so he pressured into me just like this. I put my foot on his hip. My right hand grabbed the pants or underhooked the leg. I pulled him down, and now I'm here. Of course I can go for the arm bar, guys. Look, I can, I can pummel my elbow over his head. I can push him away, throw the leg over as I catch the wrist. And now I can get my arm bar. Good tip for the arm bar is like we were sweeping him by using our knees to make our hips heavy. I bring my knees to the mat as I pull his leg like this. And now I finish. Now, from this arm lock position, we can go underneath. We can go inverted arm lock by keeping our head tight. Right, we can get the arm bar here. We could switch to the Kimura on the top arm. We could switch to the Omoplata on the top arm. We could switch to the figure four and go for the wrist lock. We have literally endless possibilities. You might ask, why won't I use them? Good guys know those, right? So they might be waiting for you to go for the arm bar and time their escape. So for me, the risk is not worth the reward. I'd rather do this. I'd rather drag his arm, come here. If I'm in this position, I know I can sweep. I sweep. Okay, now I'm nice and tight. Maybe I'll come here, finish the arm bar mounted so I don't lose top position. All right, maybe I'll go for the bow and arrow. There's a bunch of different things you can do. So I don't want to get into the specifics. If you guys do want follow-up videos on how I do all these different attacks, this is a staple in my game and there are a bunch of different attacks you can do. Please shoot something in the comments below and I will totally address them. But for right now, I think this is an influx of information. I think you need to focus on hip placement, mechanics, and how you actually get the flower sweep prior to doing any of those crazy attacks. So guys, if you like this content, please like, subscribe. If you want to see more from this specific position, please comment, message, whatever you got. Well, guys, thanks so much. Do you feel the earthquake? Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake?